What's up guys, Justin here with DCGEssentials.com back with another Blender add-on video for you. So in today's video, we're gonna check out an add-on that's built into Blender that allows you to access a free 3D model asset library from directly inside of the program. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so Blender Kit is a website that contains a number of different free models brushes and materials that you can download for use inside of Blender. One of the cool things about this is not only can you use these models inside of Blender by clicking on them up above so you can find them and download them, but you can also access them directly inside of Blender with a built-in add-on. And so in order to activate this add-on, you can go to Edit, Preferences, and then just search for Blender Kit and click the little checkbox right here. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow you to access their online asset library. And so there's some information down below if you were to go with the paid version, which we can talk about in a little bit. But for right now, you can see how what this does is this pops up a model library that you can use inside of Blender. And so you can actually use this to search for different models. So for example, let's say I wanted a chair. I could type in chair in this search bar that pops up and hit the enter key. What that's gonna do is that's gonna search the online model library for models that you can download. And notice how when you mouse over these, there's a number of different chair models in here. And so a lot of them have a little lock next to them. That's because those are a part of the paid plan as opposed to the free plan, but there are also free 3D models that you can bring in. So for example, if I click on this one, you can see how that brings in a model of a chair right here. The cool thing about this is it brings this in fully textured as well. You can bring these in and you can use them as soon as they load inside of your model. And so there's a ton of different kinds of models inside of this library. So you can uh, really do a search for whatever you want to. You can also go to their website and you can click on the options for models or materials or brushes in order to see larger images of what's contained inside of this library. So notice how, in addition to models, you can also search for materials and brushes. So let's say that I was to add in maybe a plane, like this one. You can scale this up, and then let's say we wanted to bring in a material. So let's do a find materials, and let's search for a wood floor. And so there's a number of different textures in here that you can bring in and you can apply to your models. So let's say for example, I was to bring in this wood board floor. So I can click on this and notice how you get this little green bar. That means that this is loading and this is importing this into Blender. And so when you're done, when you've imported this, notice how this applies this to the face that you have selected. And then I could go into my UV editing and I could adjust the size. And so you can see how this is gonna set this up with your wood floor material. And so all of these materials get set up with the principled shader setup, meaning they already get set up with all your normal maps and your roughness maps, and uh, your different maps are already set up in here, so you don't have to go through and do that setup manually. So you can literally use this to just quickly bring in materials and just use them as soon as you bring them in. So in addition to giving you the ability to download models and materials, there's also different brushes that you can download and you can use inside of Blender as well. So you can see how these allow you to do different sculpting things and other things like that. And so in addition, if you decide that you want access to the full model library, you can subscribe for anywhere from $5 a month if you buy a full year to $10 a month um, if you go month to month. But you can get this uh, paid program and the paid program gives you access to more models and brushes as well. So all of those models that were marked as paid, you get access to those as well. So you also get access to a couple different add-ons that are in here. I haven't really had a chance to play around with these too much. So there's an interface option. There's also a cobweb add-on for adding cobwebs and an optiloops add-on which optimizes loops inside of your mesh. So with the full plan, you also get access to these add-ons. So if that's something you're interested in, you want access to more, more stuff in the library, as well as some of the other stuff that's available with Blender Kit, you can do that by going to the subscribe page. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Are you using this add-on? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.